It was crazy. Chana now, chana now, chana now, and I'm ah. Hey guys, and welcome to another excursion with me out here on the trails. Uh, today I'm at Henry Horton Park. Tonight we'll be staying in one of the three backcountry website uh, websites, backcountry campsites here at Horton Park. Uh, since I noticed them uh, a few months back when I was out here hiking, I thought uh, I'd like to be out here and check this out uh, at the campsite so uh, they built uh, just a few spots back in the back a couple miles not very much so I just got started on the trail it's about three o'clock uh, it's roughly 70 something degrees it's gonna get down to 55 tonight and uh, and so uh, it's just a one night excursion um, and just gonna kind of relax be in a, a relaxing walk back and set up the hammock enjoy the night in the woods it's been a while because the last time if you remember if you watched it uh, land between the lakes I had a, a uh, disastrous disastrous hike rather um, I think I hiked um, roughly 18 miles the first day with no with running out of water about the uh, 11th mile and uh, it was excruciatingly hot uh, you can check that out if I can I'll try to put uh, something right there to remind you to check out my disastrous hike in Land Between the Lakes. But either case, we're here at Horton Park and uh, we're, we're going to ease up on the trail. It's not going to take very long to get back to the campsite, about a mile or so back, mile two. And um, we're on the Adeline Will Hoyt River Trail. And then I'll show you what that looks like on the map later. And, uh, and then we'll probably skirt around the, uh, the park in the morning. Since we're getting a late start on the trail today, we're just going to get back to the campsite. And I'm going to uh, uh, hike the rest of it tomorrow, ease my way out, and enjoy myself while I'm at it. So, join me! So one thing that I'm definitely seeing while I'm out here is a lot of squirrel activity. And for me, I'm cool with that because I think squirrels are cute, funny, and enjoyable to watch. And uh, when they get that little tail of wiggling and jumping all over the place. I think it's kind of kind of funny. I was going to show you this. Uh, this is the reason they call it River uh, River Trails because it practically follows uh, the Duck River here in Chapel Hill. Um, see the trails right there on the bank of the river, and this makes this trail really nice right here because you're practically paralleling the river the whole time, and uh, that's nice. Uh, some of the other trails gets off in the woods can get rather uh, I don't want to use the word boring, but uh, can be um, less exciting you know, say it that way I mean it, you do get out in the woods you do enjoy a good hike uh, getting out there alone where nobody's at uh, if it's not very populated I've already passed one guy but for the most part it's a uh, it's quiet unless some jerk is out there with his phone and recording his hike I don't know who would be doing that but uh, it's uh, peaceful and the last time I was out here I actually was within 15 yards of a deer who just sat there and stared at me while I sat there and stared at her. <laughs> but it was pretty cool. So, uh, anyway, I'm yeah, still just walking along and uh, there's a good, kind of a better view right here of, uh, of the river. It's kind of low right now. Tennessee is really uh, not experiencing a drought, but definitely experiencing uh, a little bit of lack of rain at the moment. So, that part right, let's see, th there. Um, would usually have uh, either a considerable amount of water or it'd be underwater, but not today. Yeah. I was actually surprised when I asked them if I could build a fire tonight, and they said, yeah, no problem. Because, you know, not extraordinarily dry, but 
we're probably down in rainfall right now so anyway still heading along just taking our time enjoying nature I done another video at least I think I did if I didn't I took pictures of uh, I'm not sure you can see it with the Sun coming right at it but yeah there it is observation deck um, I'm a little out of breath I just had to climb a hill it was crazy I mean absolutely crazy anyway uh, observation deck here that overlooks a big field um, and they're actually they're actually uh, stretching uh, or actually creating another trail uh, that's going to go around that field and we may check that out tomorrow because they have it on the map but uh, uh, it's not completed yet but I was talking to the ranger and he said that yes uh, they're, they're actually adding another trail uh, called the wetlands trail it's not finished 100% yet as of October of 2016 but uh, they're going to be adding that and so I may I think it's halfway done somewhat done so I may hit that tomorrow just for the fun of it so I can get a quick jump on what it may look like before they're finished with it anyway observation deck pretty cool ain't going up there all right we're here I made it to the uh, campsite there's a uh, fireplace there that somebody set up a little fire pit and uh, this is where we'd be if you was uh, sleeping in the tent you would set it up there but uh, I'm gonna try to find a couple of nice trees look like maybe those two trees right there might be a good place uh, to hang if, uh, if I can determine that that is not poison ivy um, and uh, can't really tell at this moment. So, uh, yep, I'm gonna find a couple of trees to hang from. So we'll be hanging the hammock and uh, having a nice fire tonight. And uh, you can't really see them, but right over there is the other two campsites. Um, if it was night and there was campfires over there, you'd definitely see them because they're 20, 30 yards away. This is kind of cool. Not really sure what was going on, what somebody was doing, but uh, they have a uh, some vine right here that they've set up and tied it around these two trees over to this tree and my guess actually I'm not even gonna try to guess because it would be a very uneducated guess but I was gonna say maybe they were setting up a drying rack for wood which is a very dumb guess because why would you dry wood out um, you'd set it by the fire typically because you would dry it out faster rather than setting it you know 20 feet away so they might have been building some kind of just fun little shelter uh, could be boy scouts because i know the boy scouts come out here a lot so anyway i'm gonna get this pack off find us a couple of, find me oh, i keep saying us find me a couple of trees to hang from all right as you can see behind me i got my hammock up and um i'm an eno guy i know i know i know but uh i got the Eno Rainfly, I got the Eno Hammock, and I got the Eno Bug Net. You know, uh, sorry I'm not one of those <laughs> one of those uh, underground hammock guys who go and buy the uh, stuff like nobody knows about. I mean, I just went commercial. It's just the way it is. Sorry if I offend, but I'm not trying to push Eno stuff. It's just what I gravitated towards, and it's what my budget could afford. So that's the big thing, budget. So, got my Eno up, and uh, like I said, it's supposed to be down to 55 tonight, so um, got my sleeping bag, and like I said before in other, in other videos, I have no clue what this sleeping bag is. I bought it at a hardware store that was unmarked, and it felt light, and I said, I'm going to take it, and i tell you what, I've had it down to 26 degrees and stayed very, very warm. I've never been cold with this sleeping bag and I wished I knew what it was and I wished I knew what degree it went down to but <laughs> who cares it does the job so um, so what happened was I went over to camp or the uh, uh, the campsite number one where I kinda told Henry Horton where I was gonna be staying which is only about 30 yards that way and I couldn't find a tree to uh, hang the uh, hammocks from and it just seemed like a lot of trees around here have what I think to be poison ivy I'm not certain but uh, I don't want to find out the hard way. And so um, 
so I checked out the other two backcountry uh, campsites since I was told that nobody was going to be staying here tonight. And uh, so, um, so I checked out the other two and saw that uh, this number three actually had a couple of trees that was doable. Not the best trees, but doable. Now, my luck is is that somebody's probably at Horton Park saying, I'm going to stay at backcountry number three tonight. And so they've actually, um, let me check something. Uh, if they haven't already, yeah, it's 5 o'clock. If they hadn't already signed in and got here by now, then they probably ain't coming because the office closes at 4.30 and you got to sign in. So I'm fairly certain that campsite number three is mine. And so I'm not going to have to move the hammock. Also, nice little uh, fire pit here, and whoever was here left some some get starter wood, so uh, uh, that'll be good. I won't have to look for nothing small. I got something there to kind of get the get the fire going. Um, and so uh, it's five o'clock, so I'm gonna scrounge around from wood, uh, looking at the sun. I kind of measured it, hand, finger, 15 minute increments. Um, I still probably got a good couple hours of sunlight, at least an hour and a half till the sun goes down and uh, and sunlight starts to get kind of uh, low on me. So, uh, should be a, from this point on kind of a rest and relaxation, especially after finding some firewood, which looks like it might not be a problem. Just kind of scanning around, I think I'll find plenty. Uh, but it will get dark at 7, so if I want to go to bed at 7.30, um, then I don't need much firewood, but if I'm going to stay up to about 9 like I normally do, um, then I'm probably going to need to find quite a bit. That is the update from now. Um, so, not a big, not a lot of miles today. Uh, not a lot of miles tomorrow, really. Probably only like 2 or 3 to get out. But that's not the point. The point was I'm on fall break from school, and, uh, and I just wanted to get out in the woods. And this is a really great opportunity to do so. Um, so... With that being said, I'm going to look for some firewood. Wah! So before I came out here, I picked up a couple of, well, I was I was at Walmart and had to pick up some food. So I picked up a couple of um, Mountain House dinners. Just something simple. I didn't want to go crazy. And um, <laughs> as I was getting near the checkout line, I saw a couple of um, um, markdowns on some jerky. And so I figured I'd check it out and see if it was good. It was like a dollar. So I picked up some turkey perky jerky <laughs> yeah this was turkey perky jerky anyway says um best tasting jerky on earth well that's a bold claim ain't it gluten free by the way i don't have a clue what gluten is all natural no preservatives that means it won't last long no added msg so they didn't text message these jerky High protein. So anyway, figure I might try one. That's a big old piece right there. Okay. I'm gonna be able to see down in there. Looks like jerky. Smells like jerky. Tastes like jerky. Not so much. Don't. I can see why it was on the clearance rack. It kind of has a slightly orange tang to it. Not much, but just a little. But I'm not really sure if it's just because the bag is orange and making me, you know kind of my psyche saying, oh, the bag's orange, must have an orange taste. I don't know, it's not that great. I picked up another one. Jack Link's, it's for a dollar. Um, Korean barbecue recipe, I'll try that in a minute. <sighs> picked up some Reese's. Oh, great, it's going to be 55 tonight. Let me go ahead and tell you, it ain't 55 now, so that Reese's ain't going to be, those peanut butter cups are not going to get eaten right now. They might get drank, but they're not going to get eaten because they uh, they are completely melted. Um, so, might have lost out on my 
Reese's peanut butter cup. So, maybe in the morning for breakfast. Because they'll harden up a little bit in about 55 out here. Anyway, it's um, 530. You can see the sun is yeah, going down. It's uh, right about there. There. That's where it's at. Uh, so in another 30 minutes, that sun will be down below the hill, and I'll have a little bit of residual le uh, light left over. We're going to get the fire cranked going once that sun goes down, because that's the wood I got. And so I am i don't want to sit here and burn all that up uh, and have to go look for more. So I'll wait till just about getting dark, and I have to use my headlamp, get that that. Uh, a fire going and enjoy that as it starts to cool down because once that sun goes down them temperatures gonna drop so anyway just hanging out having a good old time wish you were here mosquitoes are here I got the fire going. Just hanging out. Uh, one thing that I was going to mention typically when I go hiking, um, I wear hiking boots. Um, I'm not doing great mileage this time, probably at the most four miles, if that. Just kind of walk in. And so uh, I decided to wear my uh, mirrors that I have. And a couple of reasons I decided to wear these is because one, I wanted to um, try something different. So uh, I chose to wear the Merrill low tops, and um, I think I really do uh, see a difference in, in the um, the Merrills as opposed to my hiking boots. Anyway, yeah, that's uh, that's kind of what uh, I'm going with here. Just simple, the Merrills at the belt, uh, and everything, the tread. Does that really matter to you? Do you really, like really care? I just feared I'd say something because I'm here by myself. And there's nobody else to talk to. So, Maros. There you go. Anyway, yeah, ankle support, big deal. But also I think because the other ones are a little bit easier on the, the sole of the feet. These feel a little like there's not enough cushion. Um, but either case. But yeah, so that's what's going on in my world. What's going on in your world? I hope you're doing fine. I just called to say there's not a day that you don't cross my mind. I just wanted to see if you Sorry we said goodbye So what's going on in your world? It's your as lonesome and mine So I just got through eating a mountain house. Um, I like the lasagna. That's my favorite. Um, there's a, you know, bunch of others but and I've been wanting to try some packet gourmet because some others have said that's a pretty good deal too I've done the backpackers meals and and so anyway I just stopped by Walmart like I said earlier I picked up some uh, mountain house and um, just to give you an idea I think I showed you it's a lasagna um, and Normally when I go pack packing, I get the um, the bigger pack uh, that usually serves two, uh, but Walmart carries the single servings, 
and it, it it really is a single serving I mean it's not much but it does the job I like the two servings especially when I'm on, uh, doing a lot more mileage but on something real simple like today and tomorrow single serving does is fine however I don't think I've ever gotten a lasagna single serving before if I have I don't think I've ever shopped at Walmart and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say now I didn't really like it it wasn't that great um, so um, I have been thinking about trying my hand at uh, dehydrating my own meals but like I said this was just a, actually this one um, this trip basically was decided on like a couple days ago since we're on fall break and I told my wife I'd like to get out and at least try to get you know a trip in and she said won't you go Wednesday I'm not working on Thursday so uh, we don't have to leave the the boy nowhere and uh, uh, he can just go on and I'll be off work Thursday morning so I said you got a deal and so uh, that's how really this came about was really quickly like a couple days ago hey won't you go all right I'm gone uh, so I, like I said I just stopped into Walmart not that secluded because I can hear the highway that way and I can hear the train that way so um, you know but it is out here just getting out here and that's that's really for me it's what it's about mostly getting out getting out uh, of the house and just getting around a campfire and uh, enjoying some time now granted I'd rather be with somebody but it's hard to find somebody who just wants to go uh, on a hiking trip you know spur of the moment especially so of course we didn't have the boy uh, my wife could have gone too but we got a lot of things coming up Cub Scouts uh, tomorrow uh, and some other stuff, uh, family reunion and stuff, so she's at home uh, getting ready for a lot of that stuff. So anyway, back to the mountain house. Not that great. Wasn't that well pleased. Um, my fire's going out, or not going out, it's dying down a bit. So I don't recommend, unless you're in a pinch like I was. Um, but yeah, anyway. Uh, since my, uh, pot, uh, my uh, Reese's butter cups are melted, I do have a pop tart now if I'm correct I think there's more pop tarts so I'm gonna go grab one of those and cha na now cha na now cha na now on a pop tart bye